I'm Dr. Bramlage and I'm going to show you today how to administer an intranasal vaccine safely and effectively. So we've got to mix this vaccine and it comes in a package, a single dose pack. You just tear it out, bring it off, and we got Heidi and Bear here today. Um, you're going to peel off, you'll have sterile diluent, which is just sterile water. And you'll also have a powder that is nothing more than freeze-dried vaccine. It's a way to preserve that virus. Bear's a little nervous, slick table making noise. So um, all you're going to do is peel this vaccine down and um, open it up. You don't even need a syringe for this part. Pop it out. And with the small bulb syringe, you can actually suck this liquid out of here, which is just buffered water. And it's only going to be about a half cc to a cc. If you have a really tiny breed, you can use half the diluent, and that's fine too. Then open up your virus and bacterium, which is in the freeze-dried powder for stability reasons. I'm throwing those off here. Put the liquid into the powder. All you have to do is swirl it. It'll go into solution very quickly. And you can see that there's, that is already dissolved. You then just suck this up into the bulb syringe. And then we can administer it into the nose without issue. Now one of the things that people have trouble with is they try to fight these guys and that's not what you need to do. Some people will try to make them go and blow it into the nose. That's not your goal either. It's best to just tip this up and you just drip it right in the nose. So Heidi, you can just drip it onto the, he has a liver nose, onto the liver part of the nose and it'll just run in and he'll suck it in. That's all you have to do. If you have a tiny two pound dog and you actually blow it into the nostril, you can put it into the trachea and they will cough because this is not an intertracheal vaccine, it's an internasal. So we just want it into the nasal cavity. So all we're gonna do is get him comfortable. Now, if you have an anxious dog, what I love to do is give him a treat, show him another treat, put it in my pocket, then they think about it while I'm doing it. So he's up here trying to figure out what I have. I'm just dripping it onto the nose gently and you can see he's pulling it in. And he's a little uncomfortable because he says, why do you keep doing it? And this is just fine. They can do that. So now he's vaccinated safely and effective. It didn't bother him. Any questions? So can I give my dog an injectable vaccine and an intranasal vaccine the Ac same day? Actually, you can, and it's preferred. This is what's usually referred to as a non-stressful vaccine. It doesn't stress his body at all to have the intranasal. When you do them the same way, the immune system prefers that. When you spread those a few days apart, the immune system doesn't know how to deal with that. Do it the same day and they're just fine. If you are going to administer two days, keep it at least two weeks apart so the immune system has time to respond to the first vaccine and then settle down. So giving an injectable is a whole new system. Immune system will handle both same time. So yes, do both same time. Now reactions are rare to find swollen faces or something like that. We don't with the internasal vaccine ever have that. When you administer this internasal, you're given a live virus and a bacteria in there. They will get a little bit of a dilute, uh, clear discharge. That's okay. That means the vaccine's working. If you want to get rid of it, you can use little saline nose drops in there just like you would uh, for allergy patients or human people. Um, or you can wipe it. it. Isn't going to hurt it at all. Sometimes they sneeze for a few days. But if he's drinking water and he's eating fine, sleeping a little bit more, something like that doesn't bother me for a few days. Bear, you were a good patient today. Yes, you were. When you're all done with your vaccination, take your empty bottles, peel the sticker off, and place them on your health record and put the date that you vaccinated. We want that to be a permanent record of when you protected him.